Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's a very important. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 3, verse 1. <clears throat> now unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, these things saith he that has the seven spirits of God, and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest, and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received, and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, again, that's not the church age, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. It says, uh, fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. I will, blot, I will not blot out his name, the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Okay? This church age is 520 to 1750 AD. It's a dead ritualistic church. It's the Reformation period. It's... Uh, it's the church pulling out of Rome. And it's kind of interesting because what God says about this church. This, yeah, this is a Reformation period. Now you got to realize the Reformation. You say, well, Martin Luther and all those, well, wasn't that good? Yeah, they, their idea was to clean the Catholic Church up. And yet Martin Luther in his church still has the Mass. They still have infant baptism. They still have sacraments, a couple less than the, than the Roman Catholic Church. All they did was, was build another church. Just as the mother church, as we saw with Jezebel and her children. And unto the angel of the church of Sardis, right. Sardis, those who escaped, or I believe the red one. These things saith he that has the seven spirits of God. What is that? I know what that is. It's the seven spirits of God. Well, it's eight simple. You didn't need to go in Greek or Hebrew or press one for English and all that. It says spirits of God. Seven of them. And the seven stars, those are the angels over the seven churches. But there's no candlestick. God is in control of the angels that are over this church, but he is not in control of the church. Get that. Because there were seven angels, seven golden candlesticks. And the golden candlesticks are the churches, and the seven stars are the angels over the churches. We already had one over here, uh, chapter 2, verse 1, the Ephesus church. It mentions the seven golden candlesticks. So that's lacking. I know thy works. What you do? Behold the eyes of the Lord in every place, beholding the evil and the good. I, God knows what you're doing. It's not Santa Claus. And God's keeping books. That thou hast a name that thou livest, and art dead in truth. So what's the name? Do you have a name? Protestantism. Uh, like we said, Lutherism. They're 
churches. But they're not the church of God. They're not right with God. They're still anti-Bible. Sardis is destroyed by an earthquake in A.D. 17 and it was rebuilt. <clears throat> That's kind of interesting. Destroyed and yet rebuilt. Wait till we get to Philadelphia, the next church age. Lord willing. I know thy works, and thou has a name. And that name, those names still around today, the Protestants. Again, I'm going to say, in, in, in defiance of a, of a good man that I respect in the Lord, Baptists never are and never will be Protestants. Nor will Protestants ever be Baptists. I'm sorry, it's wrong. Be watchful, keep your eyes open, and strengthen the things which remain. There's, there's still th good things going on. Strengthen, rebuild, fix the walls. Fix the people, help them that are ready to die. So there's still persecution going on. Death is still evident. And... It's not just dying by natural causes. Because we all will die. But there's people that need strength because that persecution, that church is going to do things. And I have not found thy works perfect before God. Again, the Protestants are an offspring of the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, there's a dead church. It's ritualistic. You know, we got to do things. We got to start at 1030 and, you know, 1145, we got to sing. We got to end the singing and 1146, we start the message and we got to be out of here by noon. Sound familiar? That's in the churches today. And the modern Christians, uh, you know, if it does go afternoon, even I've been guilty of that, uh, you know, we get upset. But that's ritualistic. Our churches have put us into moving like robots. And that's anything what God does not want us to do. Every Wednesday night we have a prayer. You know, and every Wednesday night we have prayer. You know, 15 minutes Bible study. And then we go to, you know, we got to get out of that. We got to change that. We got to add more spunk. We got to add more Bible. We got to do more. Can't be ritualistic. You're not perfect. No one's perfect. And the perfect here would be your heart is not striving to be right with God. Though we can't be perfect, but yet God, our motives, if we want to do right, and we sin, we got 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin. He is our Father, he loves us, and he sees, you know, you're really trying. I'll give you that credit. You know, it's like a kid standing up at, a, at, a, at home play, he, he's just learned how to play, Baseball, and he's got his, his father says, watch that ball. He watches that ball. He keeps his eyes there. He's got the bat pulled. Front. And, you know, at first time, he misses strike. And, he, you know, he goes right back to it, and he does everything like that. Eventually, he's going to hit that ball. He has strived to hit that ball like he's supposed to. In the eyes of Dad, he may not have a 100% average, but you know what? He's trying. He's, he, he's making it active. He's doing. And that pleases God. Pleasing God is trying to do rather than not doing. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving yourselves. Remember. That shows up a lot. That showed up a lot with Peter's writing. Remember. 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 Therefore how thou hast received and hast heard. What? The gospel. Getting back to your first love. Remember who told you. Remember how they were told you. Remember, get out there and preach. Tell people. And hold fast. Grab a hold of it. Tie yourself to it. Fasten yourself to it. Handcuff yourself to it. Chain yourself to it. We are in two church periods where the Bible has been chained to pulpits and locked up from the people. By the Catholic Church. Well, man, lock yourself to that Bible. Get up there, rip that Bible off that pulpit, and chain it to yourself. It might cause death. Latch on.
fast and repent. Don't cover it. Don't deny it. Repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, you, you don't care. You don't. You don't. I'm saved. Who cares? I'm gonna do what I want to do. I will come on thee as a thief. Now, how do you know this is not church age? Because this is found in Matthew 24, 45, 43. In the rapture, we don't know when Jesus is coming. True. And we can liken this as a thief. But it's remarkable that this statement is found by Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew, speaking to Jewish people. Now, a thief takes property of another private uh, private person. Uh, a robber does it by force. A thief will break, open up the window, come in the house, and take everything that where he wants to take and walk out. A robber will come up to you in the alleyway, stick a gun in your face or a knife in your back, give it to me, or I'll kill you. That's the difference between a thief and a robber. And we've already read the parable with Jesus Christ. He said, bind the strong man, which is Satan. Christ is going to come two times. He's going to steal from Satan people, that of the church, and there will be a mid-tribulation rapture. Here it is. In the tribulation, like the church age, we are told to watch for Jesus. He's coming. Don't slack off. Don't get tired. Don't give up. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Well, that's trouble. Or catching you and you're slacking off. Thou has a few names. Again, a few names. That church in the Roman Catholic Church, the Protestants come out of it. There's more names added to the church list. Like we really needed more names. Even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garment. So there are some people still in this church that are doing right. There's always going to be someone doing right. Well, it looks like the lad to see me in this one, majority of, the, of them are not doing right, which have not defiled their garments. And they shall walk with me in white, clean. Now these that have a few names, these that are good, Anabaptists, the Waldisians, and the Loards. I believe Loards, the meaning of that name was given because these people preach in the streets and they annoy people. I'm going to make a sign like that for my people in Daytona. Call me a Loard. So here are a few names of people who are actually doing right, and they are in our history of the Baptists. Anabaptists, what's that mean? These people were called rebaptizers. They didn't rebaptize re anybody. The Catholic Church said, well, you're taking our people and you're baptizing them. No, 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 let's get straight. Yes, we're baptizing them. Only after they had received Jesus Christ as their Savior and got the new birth, then we are baptizing them the right biblical way of baptizing. You guys should just sprinkle them when they come out of the womb. So there's no rebaptizing. But eyes of the Catholic Church, yeah, you are. So that's what Anabaptist means. Baptist, you're rebaptizing. No, we're not. You know what? Now here's another thing for maybe you need to know. Godfather and Godmother. Of a child for Roman Catholic Church did you know that comes from Jewish and as far as the Roman Catholic view of that Godfather Godmother you stand now Timothy says there's one year between God and man the man Christ Jesus. now here's the great 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 sin when you step up in front of those parents for that child is going to stand before the priest and I hope he wee wees on him and he's going to put that water on his forehead and I hope the baby wees on him again you are saying, as a godfather or godmother, I don't know if you know this, listen, I am going to make a stand right now for this child, this infant, that this ch infant right now from this day forward is going to live for God for the rest of his days of life. 
And then what happens? They get baptized. Now they're saved. How on earth did that baby confess his sins and confess he's going to live a life of prayer? Through God, Mother, God, Father. Now that's a damnation. And that child, if he remains strict Catholic through the, I'm saved because I had someone stand up for me when I didn't know what I was even doing. Had no idea what it happened. I don't even remember it happened. And someone stood up for me as a mediator between God and me, and the rest of my life I can seek Mary for my troubles. That's what a Godfather, Godmother. So if you're a born again Bible believing Christian, someone goes, Will you be a Godfather, Godmother? You better, you better step away from that. You better stand for the Bible and do right. By the way, they stole that from the Jewish people. Amazing how they how they overtake the Jewish people. Because they believe they're the Jewish people, as far as the spiritual application. So, Anabaptists, well, these lords, they're going to be in heaven. They're going to be white. They're going to be pure. They're going to be clean. Walt Disney, not Walt Disney. Walt Disney, Disney boy. Walt Disney, what happened to them? Well, they lived in a town. I forget the name. I'm going to read their book again. But the story is interesting. The Catholics came in and ran these people out into the mountains, out in the, out in the cold, out in the winter. Whether they had clothes on or not, whether they had food or not, whether they had to drag their children or not, they ran the Walt Disneyans out and made them live out in the out in the wilderness in the snow in the winter. And many of them died. Many of them starved to death. Many of them froze to death. Many of them still stood for God. Lodards, they preached on the streets. Oh, I'm a Christian. I would never do that. My church wouldn't do that. The Bible doesn't say to do that. You don't know your history. Go read about the Lord's. He that overcometh, that again, that's that's first John 4 4, 5 4. That's not us. How do you know? The same shall be clothed in white raiment. I'm gonna get that white raiment. That's fine with it. The righteousness of the same. It's gonna cover my new body. So it seems like white raiment for those in heaven, that is what you're going to wear. And will not blot out his name out of the book of life. Can you be blotted out of the book of life today in the church age? Can you lose your salvation? No. So this is not today's church. Application is you got to run it to somewhere where they can lose their salvation. It's a tribulation period. They receive that mark, their name gets erased from the book of life. Now, how do you know that? Revelation 20. Heaven and earth were passed away. I seen a great white throne. People standing before the throne. The books were open, and their name was not found in the land's book of life. So there are people that did right, they got right, and the name was removed. Don't you dare let anybody say that's you today in the church age. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. You do right and you succeed to the end. And you overcome. Jesus Christ will say, Father, this man has done completely through the time of Jacob's trouble. He's been faithful unto the end. I'd like to introduce you to he that has an ear listen let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches and see if there's anything else like I said this is mass and infant baptism going on and it remains in the Protestant churches uh, I think that's it for this remember during this time the Bible has been banned Wait till we get to the next church age. Next church age, Philadelphia. Oh, I want a revival. We're going to get a revival in America. Da, 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 da. You're going to have to match the Philadelphia church age. Boy, you ain't going to match that next church. No way. But God's great. Rightly divide the word of God. You can take this church as 
past history. Yes, you can. But it can't go all the way. There's yet prophecy to be fulfilled. 